The table shows three values of x and their corresponding values of y. The linear relationship between x and y can be represented by this. So I'm jumping straight to Desmos because I'm going to input a table and plug my points in to get a line. So since this is linear, I only need two points. Had it been curved, we would want all three points. So negative 4, 49 over 3. I go ahead and add my regression. I see my line here. And that's all we're going to need Desmos for. I'm just going to go ahead and jot that line back on my uh, paper here. So we got y is equal to negative 2x plus 8.3333. So there are a couple fractions that we do want to know what their decimal form looks like. And 0.333 is going to be one of them. That's technically just going to be 8 and 1 third. And we can turn it into an improper fraction uh, times that 24, 25 over 3. And you're going to see why we did that in one second. So what they actually want our final equation to be is they want a 3 in front of y. So there's an easy way to do that. I'm just going to multiply everything by 3. So down below, I should get 3y is equal to negative 6x and then plus 25 gets rid of my denominator. And then all I need to do is change my format. They want the x and the y on the left side. So I add 6x to both sides. And finally, I get 6x plus 3y is equal to 25. And I see what my placeholders are. P is in front of x. Q is the number on the right side. So it's going to be 6 plus 25. And my final answer is 31.